Pregnancy can bring on morning sickness and fatigue, but nourishing your body with the right foods may help minimize those discomforts. Joining us live is registered dietitian Willow Jarosh, the co-author of the Happy Healthy Pregnancy Cookbook. Willow, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, you have so many good things here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's just figure out what you're making and what it what it helps when when you're pregnant. Sure. The first recipe, which I would love some help making, mm -hmm. um, are coconut hemp energy bites. Mm. And so these are from the nausea chapter and it's really important to eat often when you're pregnant and nauseated because if you let yourself get too hungry and you start to feel that stomach growl, that can actually trigger nausea. So if you want to just add sure. these in, that's some oats, coconut, hemp seeds. You put just it all add, in there? put it all in. Um, I'm going to add some cinnamon and ginger and nutmeg. And ginger is also really good for kind of taming nausea as well. So this can work even if you're not pregnant. Absolutely. Obviously. And so right? this is <laughs> absolutely. And you can make a big batch of these if you. Just want to stir sure. that, and then I'm going to stir in some raisins. And we actually chopped the raisins, and this is a good tip for everybody, pregnant or not. If you chop up dried fruit in a recipe, you can use less. You can add less of the mm. sugary foods to it, but you get a little bit in each bite anyway. Ah, oh, so that's you get a good to, tip. It extends the sweetness a little bit. And then once you mix those together, you form them into little um, balls like this, mm -hmm. and you can store them in the fridge for a few weeks. You can take wow. them like this to go in your purse. They don't need to be refrigerated. So if you oh, are Hot running errands, and you need a snack, you've got a healthy snack. So you don't have to cook those at all. You just put them, make them in balls. They're and that's done. It. Interesting. Yeah. Very yeah. Nice. All right. So, so what does this help? As hummus. I try one. <laughs> yes, please do. This is a vanilla pumpkin hummus. Oh. And this is from the constipation chapter. And this has a lot of fiber Delicious. from the garbanzo beans. Mm -hmm. And most snacks are kind of lacking in protein and fiber, but those are the key nutrients to keep your energy level stable and your blood sugar stable, which is also important during pregnancy. Um, and this is a great snack option. And you just dip fruit in it, um, and we substituted instead of olive oil, we use sunflower seed oil, mm. and then instead of some of the garbanzo beans, we use pumpkin, and mm -hmm. then some pumpkin pie spices. All right, so I'll try this one too. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, how about these uh, little so muffins? This is from the freeze ahead oh chapter, so ah. you can make these ahead of time before uh -huh. you deliver, and you've got good food waiting for you. Mm. Pop one in the microwave in okay. the morning, mm -hmm. and it's ready to go. These have quinoa in them, so mm -hmm. they've got a whole grain. They've Why got, is that uh, important? Whole grains deliver natural natural fiber and B vitamins with them. So you get more of a, it's kind of the food as medicine approach where you get more nutrients to support a healthy pregnancy um, and beyond. So you, this also keeps your blood sugar really stable because you've got the fiber, the protein ah. and veggies in there too. Well, if it's blood sugar also may be good for diabetics. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. All right. We've got a lot of stuff. <laughs> we going heard milkshake and we were excited. <laughs> yeah, we were like, we want this. <laughs> okay. So this is kind of a surprising um, smoothie recipe. It has a secret ingredient. And that is steamed cauliflower. Oh my goodness. That's never something you would think to put in a milkshake. No, never. Why is that important? So it delivers a lot of nutrition. The cruciferous veggies are really antioxidant rich mm -hmm. and it gives it such a creamy texture, but without adding a ton of cream wow. to the recipe. You also get a veggie serving. And so when you're nauseated and eating veggies isn't necessarily Oops. the first thing that you want to do. Right. right. Um, you can drink this in the morning and you've got a veggie serving, but it tastes like you're eating a chocolate. Okay, okay, so, so this works for everybody. It does. It works for everybody. I have this before work a lot. That's tofu, and that actually adds protein okay. to it, but it also adds calcium and, and a have... really smooth texture. And that's cocoa powder. Ooh. And you can add as little or as much of that as mm -hmm. you want. Well, I think this one we're waiting on. Topping. Oh, oh that's yep, the topping. That goes on the top. <laughs> the more chocolate, the better. That's tahini. Oh, okay. Um, Let me just... And so that adds a little bit of healthy fat, and mm -hmm. that helps your body absorb more of the nutrients. Wow. And then we've got some unsweetened almond milk. So that's oh. going to add creaminess without adding sugar to it as well. Now and you can you can add ice if you want to. You don't have to. It just thickens it up a little bit. Okay. okay. So as we make this, we're going to check one more time <laughs> back in with Vanessa, uh, who's outside in Red Hook, Brooklyn, as we make this milkshake. So Vanessa, what is it like out there? Our final forecast. Mm -hmm.